guys, it's Noelle Michaels. Welcome to Noelle Chat, where we presently have 125 subscribers. Yeah, that first goal, blasted through it. And this video's super special subscriber is Kyle. Kyle Taylor something. Yeah, YouTube told me that he subscribed. Thanks, YouTube, for telling me that. YouTube doesn't tell me all the time, only sometimes. So how have you guys been? What's new? Put something good in the comments. I love to read positive comments of things that are happening that are fun or good to you. Good for you, too, <laughs> as well. Today's video is going to be the way that I make a quick coleslaw. I happen to love coleslaw. And sometimes I go to a restaurant and I love the coleslaw and sometimes I'm very disappointed because mostly when it's vinegary, I don't know, vinegary is not good for me. I just don't care for vinegary too much. And a lot of coleslaws taste vinegary and then I don't know, is it the vinegar or is it spoiled? You know, <laughs> nobody likes to eat spoiled food, right? So I started making it on my own and I used to get a cabbage and slice it. But lately, my slices are not thin enough. So I tried something else. I went to the store and I found this dull fresh classic coleslaw in a bag. Oh my goodness, Mickey Mouse is on there. Isn't he cute? Just standing there, just like that. I didn't even know Mickey was on my coleslaw. I guess Mickey Mouse likes coleslaw too. In fact, a dog that I used to have that now is living at the farm with my friend Summer, her name's Molly. And Molly loved coleslaw when she would hear me chop, chop, chop in cabbage and also um, uh, cauliflower. Yeah, cauliflower and cabbage raw. When she heard me chop, chop, chopping on the chopping board, oh, her tail would wag like crazy. She loved it. I never knew dogs could love it, but they do sometimes. You better check your dog and see if they love it. I don't know. Okay, so I take some classic coleslaw out of the bag. I cut a little half of the bag so it makes a nice little pouring spout like this. And I take a big bowl, because I really love it. And I sprinkle it in the bowl like this. Now, I think I put about a cup and a half to two cups, depending how hungry I am. The one problem is sometimes you get a big piece. Who wants a big piece to choke on? Not me. So I will look through it in the big pieces, and I will, later on, I will take a sharp knife, right? And I will chop it a little better to make sure there's no big pieces to choke on. Safety first, right? <laughs> okay. So, the coleslaw is kind of dry. There's a little piece of, a uh, few pieces of carrot in there. If you like any other kind of vegetables, you could add it, like a little diced tomato, fresh from the garden, or I love a little diced cucumber, would be good too, especially if it's fresh from the garden. Yeah, what else could go in here? If you like peppers, dice up. Dice means make a little cube of it, just a little tiny cube, and put that in. Really, anything you like, if you want more carrots, Shred some more carrots in there. You're the boss of your coleslaw, all right? Never forget, you are the boss of your coleslaw. Be in charge. Okay, so we have the, col the cabbage in. S shredded cabbage. Shredded. That's an SH word. Shredded, followed by an R. Kind of difficult, but you can learn. Shredded cabbage and shredded carrots are in here now. Now we want it to be tasty. So we'd like to add some spices, but 
the best way to do it is to add something sticky in there so the spices will stick to it and it'll have a creamy consistency. And for that, I like to add mayonnaise. But before I add the mayonnaise, I want to make sure the coleslaw stays a nice color and fresh tasting. Some people will put in a little vinegar, but you know how I feel about vinegar, so that's not my option. I think apple cider vinegar is probably a little better than other kinds of vinegar, white vinegar or red wine vinegar. But for me, I solved this problem by using a lemon. And this lemon happens to be very ripe. Ripe lemons are sweeter. So always look for a nice ripe lemon. Usually the color's a little darker and when you squeeze it, it has a little give to it. That'll make it better. So I don't use my lemon all at once. So I keep it in a bag. Last time, I didn't pay attention, and when I squeezed, I got some pits in it. And then when I was eating my coleslaw, I was like, what are these things that are so hard in there? They were the pits. So, please be careful. Pay attention when you're doing your lemon juice. And just a little squeeze around. A little squeeze, not too much, just enough. There you go. I guess the more lemon flavor you like, the more you can put in. But I just put enough to coat it. And then I could take a utensil, maybe a fork this time, and use the tongs on the fork to mix it up. See, there you go. Now the lemon juice is covering the pieces. That's good. Let's get on to the creamy part. I like to use mayonnaise. This is Real Mayonnaise by Heinz. Let's see, Heinz, there we go. And I like these little packets. When I go to the store, I get the little packets. And sometimes I have extras, I keep them in the fridge. I'll use a little knife and I will snip, snip to get it off nice and even. This is pretty much amount of coleslaw, so I could use, I think I could use the whole thing. Sometimes I only use half if it's just a little bit of cabbage in there. I'm going to squeeze and get the whole thing out. There we go. Mmm, starting to look yummy already, right? Okay, now here's my secret ingredient. I like a little spicy. If you don't like spicy, don't put this in. If you like spicy, it's a good thing to have on hand. Creamy horseradish sauce. Yeah, and it's white like the mayonnaise, too. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. I'm going to make sure the cap is clean. Right? Don't want to have anything yucky go in my coleslaw. And just a little bit. One, two. Two little squirts if you like spicy. One if you like it a little less spicy. Okay, so now we have some sticky stuff in there that we could put spices on. And the spices will stick to it. And then when you mix it, the spices will get all distributed all throughout the cabbage. The shredded cabbage. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's start with a little salt, right? This is sea salt and it's in a grinder. So that means the pieces are real big. And if you had it like that straight, that would not be tasty. It would be big pieces in your mouth. So you turn it upside down and you one, two, three, four. I like about four. And you can shake a little if there's any left over. Don't forget to put the cap on. That keeps it neat. Okay salt and of course pepper okay I've got some ground black pepper here and I'm gonna sprinkle that you can't see the salt too good but you could see the pepper do you see it right there there it is okay now pepper goes very good with turmeric 
because the pepper and the turmeric work together to be something healthy. The turmeric gives it a little more kick. And that's orange. You can see it there. Mmm, yummy. So, so far we have shredded cabbage, mayonnaise, creamy horseradish, and salt, pepper, and turmeric. And that's it. No extra vegetables in mine today because I want to be quick and easy. Okay, I'm going to stir it up. Only thing I have to remember is before I eat it, I have to chop up those big pieces that are in there to make sure I don't choke. Right? Oh boy, it's smelling spicy. Like I could smell that creamy horseradish. If you have a stuffy nose, that'll clear it right up. Okay, wow. So, quick and easy, creamy coleslaw from the Wealth Chat. That's it, guys. Time to say goodbye. This is Noelle Michael signing off. I hope you have a good day, afternoon, night, evening, morning, <laughs> week, weekend, or vacation. Yeah, have a good vacation if you're on vacation. Whatever it is for you as you're watching this video right now. Have a great one, guys. See you soon. Bye.